You're welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Our final conversation is about the continuous voter registration that will begin on Monday, the 28th of June, 2021. Now, we already know that INEC uh, chief has actually uh, presented a new online registration portal uh, for the voter registration and also uh, something called IVED is an INEC, um, basically uh, a voter enrollment device, IVED. And to discuss more about uh, the election and uh, the registration for voting, we have the resident <coughs> electoral commission of INEC, uh, Mr. Mike Igini. Mr. Igini, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. It's my pleasure to join you. Thank you. All right. So we know that IVED and the online portal has been launched. Please tell us more about that and how the registration would uh, hold both online and in person. Well, thank you very much. Uh, um, good morning, Nigerians. Um, as has been announced in the last few weeks, on Monday, the CVR in line with Section 10 of the Electoral Act that uh, gives power to the Commission to embark on continuous voter return exercise will take off nationwide. And as you noted in your opening remarks, uh, it will be in two uh, stages. First, we are starting, which is a new uh, innovation uh, with the online on the 28th. We also know that the online is essentially for those who have uh, Android phone, uh, laptops, and any other device with which uh, they, can, they can use to embark on this exercise. We also know that majority of Nigerians, particularly in the rural areas, they also do not have access to internet, do not have a laptop, or Android phone. So the second in person will be for those categories of persons. But first, for the one we are going to embark on <clears throat> from Monday, 28th, you will go straight to the portal, the INEC portal, all right? You launch into it. Now, once you get in there, you are going to see various services that will be offered to you. So you have to make a choice. Primarily, this exercise for the first set of people you will see on the platform will be for those Nigerians who have attained the age of 18 and above, who have not registered before. That's what we call fresh registration. They will now Open the system, you put in your personal data, your name, and all sundry questions that in your interacting with the system, you will all have to put all of them in. Now, in the process of even doing that, you also have to take your photograph. They're going to take your photograph. You know, why going through that process? It's just like uh, people who go for what you call it a passport when you go to the immigration office all right or um any of those going for visa that's the kind of thing we are we are pioneering so once you have put in your personal detail at the end of the exercise you are going to get a print out what you call the cvr print out take note it is not a temporary voter's card is just a slip as evidence that you have gone through the process. Then, of course, it, through that process, you are going to pick a, the place, a date, and a time that you will not have to come in person to come and uh, give your biometric. Because you know you cannot capture your biometric you know, online. So you have to come in person at the place, for example, if you are in Lagos, where you are, right now speaking from Aqua Ibom State. So right here in Aqua Ibom State, if you are going to register in Uyo, where I'm speaking from, or any of the 31 local government, you are going to see the picture of the local government, how it looks like 
for because for any reason you have not been there before, you know, you will not have problems in terms of direction. So it will indicate that you, thereafter, on that stated day that you have chosen yourself, you cannot come to any conflict to have your biometric care taken. That is for those who are raising for the first time. Now, you also have a second category of people who previously you had registered, but you have problems in the last few elections getting your biometric confirmed with the card reader. Now, you also have to now go through that process again. Basically, what you are going to do here is that once you log in, because I told you all the options are there. Have you registered before? It will show you are not registered before. If you are registered before, you want to correct your misspelled name, it will show to you. So you go for the choice, what you want, or you want to transfer any of the options that are, uh, that are available that is going to be highlighted on the platform, that is what you go for. So if, for example, you want to also transfer, you have opportunity there to do a transfer. But here is an interesting thing about those who want to transfer or those who have a defaced, lost PVC. Once you log in, with respect to the particular issue that you are interested in, for example, um, a, a transfer of your uh, registration point that you want to move, you are, rather you are moved from one particular area to another local government and a, in a particular polling unit that is nearest to where you wish to vote on that day, it will, in the process of going through that, once it takes a picture, there is going to confirm whether the current person whose picture has been taken is the same person who is already on the data. Don't forget that for those who are doing transfer, those who are complaining about the face or lost BBC, you already, we already have your data in the system. It will confirm that. Once it confirms that the current picture you have just taken now is the same person that the data has been there before, it could not allow you to go to the next uh, stage. Okay, no. Mr. Igeni, Mr. Igeni, Mr. Um, I, I want us to also talk about registration day, right? So INEC has launched the INEC voter enrollment device, IVED. And this IVED, according to what um, uh, Mr. Yakubu says, it's, uh, it's an Android tablet, is that correct? Correct. So how many um, IVED does INEC have per registration center? Yes. You know, we are going in phases. We have 774 local governments in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, so for a start, for a start at the local government and the state offices, you are, for the purpose of coming for your biometric, because all those who are going to uh, have all their information uploaded on the, on the portal, all right, you don't come for that. You only come in basically for the for the biometric and perhaps for the for that capture to confirm what you have before. So we start with 774 uh, local governments. We are going to have each of these in those areas. All right. Then at the state level, the, the biometric capture is also taking place in the head office of each of the states. So that is the starting point. So okay. you're talking, you're saying that we're going to have 774 IVED on the local government yes. level and then one exactly. in each state. Well, we are going, yes, by the time we start at the in-person because once, you know, once you have done the, the portal, the online registration, then we are giving you a time to come for the, for the in-person, at which time also those who have not, uh, those who categories of Nigerians who do not have access to, uh, the online or who are not able to do that, they will also come in person. All that right, Mr. Igini, Mr. Igini, I really need then to ask also, you this. We are also going to cascade down because you know that it, local government, some of them are very large. So it's not possible that everybody in a very large local government will be able to come to the local government office. So at times, go, go, no, we are going to have a chat, all right, where they are going to move from RA to RA, that is from word to word. You know, words constitute local government. Pony unit constitutes word. 
So that is the way we cascade down. But you want to go in phases because, for example, that equipment is a very expensive one and it's not something you just go to the church. In fact, it was designed first by Nigeria. They're taking by our engineers, taking out of the country for fabrication. So we are, as we are getting them, more will be coming in, they will be cascading down to the world level. Mr. Um, I, I'm going to also ask you about uh, timing. The uh, continuous versus uh, registration should have started um, in 2020. Of course, the pandemic delayed yeah. that. Um, do you trust that you have enough time to get as many Nigerians, eligible Nigerians, registered um, for the next elections? And then also, um, you mentioned about the um, online process, which doesn't give you a temporary voter's card. Um, yeah. So do you trust? It gives, yeah, it gives you a slip. So do you trust that between yeah. those stages of getting the temporary voter's card and then getting the permanent voter's card, all of this can happen with the backlog of Nigerians that need to get registered to vote before 2023? Sure. In fact, the beauty of what we are trying to do now is to also, on account of the um, maintaining you know, the COVID protocol, is that the kind of um, crowd that we are going to find if we are to go uh, in person, as you, you know what usually happened before, that is completely out. The moment you are, the process first for the online, you have done that, you, you have your biometric is taken and all that, production will take place as quickly as possible. As a matter of fact, the, the, if I, another thing is that once your PVC has been produced, you also have a system where in the paper, you can track your PVC, whether it has been produced, because the date of registration will be indicated there. If it has been produced, you are able to track it. Whether it has been delivered to the office, you are able to track it. So all those who tend to want to carry PVC to go and warehouse individual PVC, all of those things from the system we are putting in place is to get all of this thing eliminated. So we can assure you that um, as we get people registered, once you have come for your bio, come to give your biometric, you know, particularly for those who have not registered before, you know, as quickly as possible, production will, will continue. And okay. I can assure you that by 2023, uh, we will to do that. Don't forget that even in, the, uh, in 2017, which is the first time the current leadership actually uh, 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 complied fully with the provision of Section 10, we talked about the um, continuous voter registration exercise. It started on the 21st of April 2017, and that went on till um, somewhere around the 20, um, August 2018, just before the, the election, to enable us, you know, uh, clean up the entire registration exercise, then get the register registered because we must get a copy of the register to all political parties before the election. All right, so last, last we are thing. Going, if Nigerians will cooperate, you know, are there strictly to the procedure, I think we have no problem. All right, lastly, Mr. Egini, um, basically with, with the figures you gave us concerning IVED, uh, it means basically that um, 810 IVED will be deployed to different states for registration. But how do you think that will be sufficient enough for INEX plan to register 20 million Nigerians uh, for the elections this year? Also in the newspapers today, INEC has admitted that there are security threats at registration centers. What are INEC's plans to ensure security as people go out to register to vote? Well, first and foremost, um, security, uh, I mean, this entire process, they are bound to responsibility and accountability. Security is not a job of INEC. It is a job of security institution set up. And we have had extensive meetings with them um, to, to live up to expectation, uh, to create the ambience uh, that we require to do what we need to do. With respect to that of uh, INEC, we will do what we need to do. But more important, as we go for this exercise, is the fact that the voter registration want to draw attention to the do's and don'ts, particularly conducts that are not expected to be exhibited in the process. First, it should be noted that now is the time to warn, to warn parents, to warn Nigerians, not to embark on uh, on the age process of registration. The provision of section 24, section and part eight of the Electoral Act relate to offenses with respect to voter registration 
should be avoided. It is only those who have attained the age of 18 that must get themselves registered. Particularly, it should be noted the provision of section 24, subsection uh, A and C that prohibit anybody making false statement either by way of this online registration or when they come in person with a view to registering even both living and dead people who are not absent. In any case, the system may serve, uh, the beauty of this particular uh, system where the IVED we are using is that it is that much easier okay. to track people of that nation. All right, Mr. Mike, offense, we have to say. The offense for that, it could attract to five years in prison and a minimum of one year. Okay, so Mr. Mike Guinea, I, I think that's uh, that's where we can draw the line here. We hope to bring you on later on on the show as registration goes on uh, to discuss how that's progressing. Mr. Mike Guinea, INEC Resident Electoral Commissioner for Akwa Ibom State, uh, thank you for joining us on The Breakfast. It's my pleasure. Good morning. All right, and that's uh, where we wrap up this morning. Thank you very much for staying with us all through the week. And, of course, uh, we wish you a great weekend ahead. The news comes up at 9. I am Osaogi Ogbawa. And I am Aneta Felix, asking you to have an enjoyable weekend.